Hello lovelies! Welcome back to Chrissy Cooking at Home. If you're new, I'm still fairly new too. Been about a month now since I started doing this YouTube thing. What we are doing now, I have a busy day planned. What we are doing now is, see this? See what this is? Look at this lovely. This is lemon balm, okay? Lemon balm jelly. It is delightful. And I don't know, something about lemon jelly with my tea on toast when I don't feel good. A little honey in my tea just makes me feel a little better. And I, so what we have here is about two cups of lemon balm leaves that I took off the big thicker stems. I didn't really worry about these little ones because we're going to steep this. So I've got three cups of water <clears throat> coming to a boil. And I'm just doing a coarse chop. I'm not mincing, I'm not chiffonading, I'm just running a knife through it. Okay, okay? Okay, okay. And it, not every piece has to be cut. And kind of help release the lemon balm plant oils. Okay. My water is coming to a boil. Into the water. Oh yes. This is a wonderful thing. So, put this back in my colander. Logan picked the lemon balm for me this morning. It'll probably be our last harvest of lemon balm for the season. Okay. And now, we also need, okay, so there's three cups of water, two cups of lemon balm. We're going to need one box of regular, original, yellow box pectin. How much lemon juice? I forgot. We need um, half a cup of bottled lemon juice and then um, four cups of sugar because it is jelly. But first, we're going to let this steep. How long do I let this steep for? We're going to let it steep for about uh, 10 minutes. But if I let it steep longer, it ain't going to hurt nothing. And then we're going to strain it through a sieve. So we're kind of making like a lemon balm tea. I'm just trying to get it going here. I can show you. It's a little steamy. Okay, see our water's turning color? A little yellowy, a little greeny. Can you see all that through the steam? Doubtful. So I'm just gonna put a lid on this. And let it sit. I got many things planned for So it ain't gonna hurt it sitting all day if I need it to. But the longer it steeps, better the lemon balm flavor. I'm excited. We just used our last jar, so we need more for the winter. Good morning, lovelies. It's about quarter after seven-ish here right now at the moment. I'm going to start. I'm going to make um, my lemon balm jelly. I left my recipe book in the other room, but Today is always a sad day, every year. You know, it's been 21 years, 21 years ago today. Today is September 11th, 2022. I 
was not living in New York when it happened. But like everybody else in this country, it hit home and it hit hard. It was a scary day. It was a devastating day. It was a traumatic day. I feel like people are forgetting what happened to us. I haven't been on social media like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or any of that in a very long time. But last year, it felt like people, so many people were forgetting or wanting to forget or wanting to bury their heads in the sand about what happened, about the evils in this world. So many people's lives changed forever that day. And if coping with it is sticking your head in the sand, then by all means, cope with it how you can cope with it. But I'm going to get through the day and I am going to do the projects, as many projects as I plan, I'll get as many done as I can. So. 21 years later and it's still still hits me hard. It hits a lot of people hard. And I wasn't even living in New York at the time. I am now. But anyways, I just wanted to say that a little bit. And now we'll move on to a favorite of my family and my friends because I have given this as not really gifts but like here try this tell me what you think and it's gone over well and I'll be giving some to my sister when I see her next month super excited because my mom made a lemon jelly when I was a kid that she absolutely loved so okay lemon balm jelly. I took about two cups worth of roughly chopped lemon balm, as you saw, and steeped it in about three cups, not about, but in three cups of water. I brought the water to a boil, added the lemon balm, brought it back to a boil, turned it off, and I didn't get to it. So it sat all day steeping because it was put to the back to the side and life happens. So before I went to bed, I did um, put it through my sieve and I squeezed the lemon far out of the leaves to get as much of the flavor of the lemon balm out of it. And I saved this, it's almost dried up now, but I saved this last night in my little sieve to show you how much I squeezed. You saw how many leaves just a minute ago. You just, you saw how many leaves there were and it steeped and, it's, and I squeezed and... So then what you gotta do is you gotta measure that water again because you need three cups of liquid. Now, you need usually about one fourth to one half cup of bottled lemon juice. Now, I just get this stuff at all these. Best price, good quality, bottled lemon juice. All right, so I have it in my eight quart stock pot. And what I'm gonna do is show you. Now this is what's steeped plus the lemon juice. Okay, you can see it's kind of cloudy. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add our pectin. Okay, one box, sure gel, regular old pectin. I've not tried the other brands. I would have to order them. I have not seen the other brands here local. My new whisk. I got this really big whisk because I was tired of getting um, spit on. So now I can kind of. <laughs> I got this at my local restaurant supply store uh, called Maine's. It was like $5.50, I believe. 
Alright. So, I put a lid on it last night to keep dust and cat hair out of it. Hold on. I don't know if you saw in one of the other videos, I take off my knobs to my gas stove because one day the one cat that's brave enough to climb on the stove while we were out shopping shopping or yeah we went we had to go a few towns over to get bunny supplies we come home and the house smelled like natural gas like there was a gas leak and I look and one of the burners was turned on high but there was no flame it was just the burner was on like he had just been able to step on it just right to push it in and turn it but he didn't start a fire like the, he didn't bring the flame it took a couple of hours to air out the house because we can only crack the windows so far so the cats don't escape or the bunnies don't escape it took a while um but we got there so now i they since they come off i keep them all off and i put them in a little blue um tote thing i keep to the side with uh, water flavorings in it Okay, anyways, I digress again. In my water bath canner, my beautiful water bath canner I had gotten at a yard sale, is uh, coming up to a boil. I started it first. I put the jars in to get them um, sanitized. Now we have our lids turned on, getting them sanitized. I have my rings over here. I have my fancy schmancy ladle. I have my fancy schmancy funnel. We need three cups of sugar, right? No, four. Four cups of sugar. It's three cups liquid to four cups sugar to one box pectin. Did you get all that? Okay. Um, so I have my sugar ready. Now, what I did was um, brought this up to a boil of lemon juice, lemon balm tea, and the uh, pectin. Brought it up to a boil. When it came up to a boil, I added my sugar. Stirred it in real good. Brought it back up to a boil. And it's not what the box said to do, but this worked. I boiled for two minutes. Let me get my book. Have you seen in the other videos? <laughs> where I'm converting all my recipe cards, typing them up, put them in here because they're they are falling apart. Decades old. All right, jelly. I marked it. Okay. Yes. After two full minutes, transfer jelly to hot sterilized jars. And then process in a boiling water bath canner for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes. So I'm going to put this over here on my walker. Maybe. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Now. Um, my apron needed washed after doing all the sourdough stuff. And I forgot to put it in the washer with the last load. So I'm not going to wash just an apron all by itself. So if we get jelly on this, we get jelly on this. Oh, well. Life goes on. Let's see. Um, today, for the first time ever, I am using the four jars. I ordered some. Tired of lid failures. Ooh, I'm gonna show you. bomb jelly. So, I have my, um, I crocheted this. It's two sides. It's a bubble stitch. Um, so together, you know, just scrap yarn I had from leftover projects. 
I really wasn't worried about it matching, you know, hot pink and red. Who fucking cares? But, oh, this is almost so boil. Um, I've crocheted a few things to put my jars on, my hot jars on. So as I pull the jars out, I do have my jar lifter here. As I pull the jars out, they're not going on my cold counter. And we do have the AC going because when I water bath can and pressure can, it gets really warm in here. Really, really warm. So, all right. Check the boiling water. Good. All right, so this is going to take a while. Um, I will bring you back as I'm ladling the lemon balm jelly into my jars. My lids are boiling away. My jars are boiling away. This is almost up to a boil. I have my sugar, my measuring cup, four cups. I did look again, four cups. I'm so excited to try these lids because all the experienced canners have tried them that I'm watching on YouTube and are swearing by them and have now become faithful uh, to this brand. I don't know if faithful is the word. Um, exclusive? Something like that. I have a uh, French onion soup in my pressure canner coming down. Um, we got about an hour yet before I can take uh, the lid and crack it. I'm excited for that. Because again, four jar lids. <clears throat> Tired of lid failures. No more buying stuff on sale at Amazon or with coupons on Amazon. Four jars. Yeah. And if I still have failures, I know it's me doing something wrong, but I'm still learning. I'm still new to this canning thing because I really don't remember what I did with my mom and my grandma and my great grandma when I was a kid. That was like 30 years ago and I have memory lapses. So I think I'm lucky I can remember I ate home canned food at all, but I'm glad I get to share it with Logan. So I'm going to get this jelly cooking and I'll bring you back as I'm ladling. Real quick, while I'm bringing this up to a boil with the sugar in it, um, I did get a little dish of white vinegar, and I have my little um, European dishcloth that I like to use instead of paper towels when they're clean. I think I have like three of them left. They wear out after a while, faster than your traditional uh, dishcloths, I think, but they're so worth it. They're so absorbent. Um, anyways, so I just want to let you know I got everything ready, lined up to go. I didn't forget anything except for the cookbook, <laughs> which I brought out. So I had it in the living room with me because I had forgotten to type the ingredient list for one of my videos that I said I would. And I, I woke up at 3 this morning, 3.15-ish, 3.30-ish, and that was my first thought was, in my head, was, oh my gosh, did I remember to put the ingredients in the description box like I promised? I looked and no. So after I had a little coffee, woke up a little bit, I did it. So that's why it was in the living room. And they go fetch. So I'll bring it back again. Okay, you know, if you've made jelly, you know it has to be a full rolling boil that you cannot stir down. So. Okay, see it through the steam, I've set my timer, I keep stirring. It starts off so little in, the, in my eight quart pot here and then it just, when it's at this boil it just volumes up. I have learned from mistakes because I've only been canning since July. Right? July. Yeah, I picked it up in July. So just like two months and four days. I've canned so much. I dumped so much, but you know, live and learn. Let it go. Move on, right? 
Don't let it scorch. Don't let it scorch. You know sugar scorches. So glad I got this Swiss. I'm not burning the crap out of my hand because this is one of my super burners. And a regular standard whisk, I was just, my hand was dying. I just felt like it was on fire I'm trying to whisk this whisk of jelly for two minutes. I believe every other jelly is like on the sure gel is like one minute. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've made jelly because we had a lot of jelly and we are not big jelly eaters. All right, remove from heat, turn off lids. Keep stirring. So this is a heavy bottom pot. It's it's gonna. I didn't scorch it, did I? No, it's fine. <laughs> I thought I scorched it for a second. The lighting in here is not the greatest. It's cloudy. It's dark out still. Even though the sun's been up for an hour and a half, got all my lights on in here. It's dark and cloudy out. And usually we get a lot of sun through this window here. All right, are you ready to start filling the jars with me? Okay. So I couldn't remember, and I didn't write it down, how many flipping jars did I get? I don't remember. I think it was like six. I really do. That's a hot handle. Bring up nice steamy hot jelly. I just pulled this jar out of the water bath canner that's been bubbling and boiling away. And with jellies, it's a quarter inch headspace. That does not look a quarter inch. Where's my measuring device? The only bad thing about this particular design that I did is it, it with it being bubble stitch, I swear the jars are not as level as I'd like them to be while I'm trying to measure my head space. Okay. Put that there. Where's my magnet? awesome investment. Not that they were expensive, but I was putting it off while waiting to see um, if I stuck with this home canning thing. Fingertip tight. Yeah. Good job, Chrissy. Let's try and put this in with our bare hands, shall we? the next jar. Let me reposition that one a little bit better. There, I like that. I turned off my AC unit just to get these going. I hope we get six jars. I don't think I had correct headspace the first time I did this. I was still very, very new and learning and watching lots of videos and learning from so many greats. I think they're great. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna get that one back out. Because do you know what I forgot to do? Clean the frickin' rim. So that's not going to seal. So that would be a my fault, not a lid brand fault. I was blabbering on like I tend to do.
So we're going to take that off. I don't consider that a used lid because I didn't process it. So I'm just going to wash it and it's hot. Oh my god. All right, screw it. I'll just, where's my permanent marker? It sucked it down. So, there. I just did it like a little zag. So I know that this one did not get cleaned. Unbelievable. No, it's not. That's believable. Are you kidding me? It's me. It's totally believable. I don't like what's going on in here. Oh, it's separating. I don't know. Come learn with me. Give me tips and pointers. I don't want to say separating, but it's like congealing, solidifying. That's good. Clean lid. You know, I'm going to get a post-it note, I swear to God, and I'm going to do right behind you, or right above you, stick it to my wall, and be like, okay, step one, fill jar. Step two, measure headspace. Step three, clean the frickin' rim. I don't want to put it like that, I'm going to put frickin'. Or I might even use a worse word. Because since coming to New York from the Midwest, I definitely use that word way more than I ever did in my life before I moved here. Yeah, that's not on there. It's so freaking hot. Okay. I think we're going to get four, guys. Maybe four and a half. I have a couple of these. Yeah, it's congealing. Clean rim, Chrissy. Clean rim. Right? Right. Hot. Because even if you didn't think you splooshed, you might have splooshed. Especially, you know, when you pick up the... Come on, be nice. When you pick up the funnel, it's got drippy drips. Alright. I'm going to make a note. How many jars?
Make too much water in there. Now I really think I can get a little half star. Might not be able to process it properly, but I can at least you know, stick it in the fridge. This turns out so good. And everybody I've given it to just raves about it. Son of a biscuit eater! I went to reach for that one and I dipped my hand in the freaking pot of boiling water. Okay. Lid back on. Don't put that on your cold counter, Chrissy. Okay. Rubber. Paper. Oof. Funnel. It's congealing. <laughs> I'm going to scrape my funnel into the pot. Put that there. And it's pulled down finally. Scrape, 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 scrape. We're not wasting any of this deliciousness. Nope, off the cold counter, onto the towel, or the mat. That can use a little bit more, and I have just a little bit. I have like two little rubber scraper fulls left in here. Now, once my water bath canner comes back up to a boil, then I will start my 10 minute processing time. Oh, that looks like so damn near perfect. Sorry for the language. <laughs> I swear. I swear a lot now that I've lived in New York for so long. Right. Measure it first, silly. Uh, it's congealing, so. Oh, it's freaking perfect. And if I want to taste test it, there's just enough to scrape up for a little taste test. I did that with a lot when I was trying jelly recipes and jam recipes, either from the little insert that comes in your box, I'm still working on the fingertip tight thing. Okay, way too much flipping frickin' water in here to get that down there without burning myself. You know what we'll do? The pot the lids are in. Wasting water. Good job, Chrissy. Nothing water all over the freaking counter and floor. All right, we have two inches of water. You should have seen it. I should have showed you. It was to the freaking brim. Okay, itty bitty. There's another jar in here. I'm not gonna fish it out right now. All right. So four and a half, four and a half jelly jars. Once that comes up to a boil, I will set the timer for 10 minutes. I'll bring you back when I pull them out, okay? Lied, pulling you back now. Literally just turned off the camera. Looked in the pot, grabbed my spatula. There's a little bit congealed on here. It's sweet. It's tart. You can taste the balm as well as lemon. And lemon balm plants, if you don't have one yet and you want to try this, they return every single year. <clears throat> I noticed mine gets a little bit bigger each year. I don't know how many years ago it was I planted it. I'm going to say it was... I want to say it was before my third time in the wheelchair. 
my th I think it was before my third relapse, I had gone out, bought a lemon balm plant, planted it. I don't remember specifics, but guys, lemon balm jelly is the bomb. Okay, I better stop eating that or it's going to upset my sleeve. I'll bring you back. I promise, I'll, I'll wait this time. Okay, brought you back. They're out. Oh my god. Yep, there's the last one. They all sealed. I mean, I literally just pulled these out. Pulled them out and started record. Hit record. They look beautiful. They look beautiful. I'm gonna dump this vinegar out. Beautiful. I shouldn't have done that. I have another canning project lined up for today. I might not get to it though. Oh, ow! They're all hot. I don't know if that's much better. Seeing the beautiful color. It's a very pale yellow. Let me adjust the. They all sealed. There's the one that I did not clean. Now, I want to mention something really important. I did 10 minutes because my altitude is above a thousand feet for my physical address. When I put in the town, <coughs> Um, I'm below a thousand feet. When I put in my actual physical address, I'm above a thousand feet. So I did 10 minutes. If you are below, you know, I just followed the altitude directions on the Surgel. Um, if you're below, it's supposed to be five minutes processing. If you're above a thousand, you add five minutes. And then if you're above 2000, it's another amount of time and so on and so forth. The, the little leaflet is really very informative and I was reading through it while waiting for these to process and I realized that the first time I made it I did a headspace for freezer jam and jelly. So I was looking at the, the jar that I showed you and I'm like why why is there so much space between the jelly and um the top of the jar? Couldn't figure it out. I'm like I've been sitting in the shelves um, to the very back since July. It's one of the first things I did. I really think I did the jam and jelly one. But that's besides the point. Quarter inch headspace for these jellies because it's not a freezer. I don't have to worry about ex you know massive expansion. I don't know what's on this ring. It's bugging me though. Anyways, I'm gonna let these sit. I am not going to bother them. I will clean them tomorrow and label them. I got the cutest, not the cutest, the niftiest dissolvable labels. Because of the way my jars are on the shelves, it's better for me to see right on the jar, like here, than versus writing it on the top or putting the label on the top. So, um,. I'm going to keep an eye on this one with the, my little squiggle on top, see if it comes unsealed because I did not clean the rim. I'll rewatch the video while I'm editing it and I'm pretty darn sure I did not clean that rim. So four and a half jelly jars, so four eight ounce and one four ounce jelly jar of lemon balm jelly. I wish my Benadryl would kick in, I feel like my nose is just dripping. So. French onion soup is going to be coming out in about 25 minutes. Not really coming out, but that's when I'm going to crack the lid. Um, I'm going to sit and rest for a while. It's going to be one of them days where I'm going to need lots of breaks. And then if I get to it, I am going to do the National Center for Home Food Preservation website's recipe for molasses beans, or you know, basically a baked bean. 
I was thinking of combining two recipes because I have a tomato sauce one, tomato sauce two, and then molasses. I like the idea of combining tomato sauce two with the molasses one. So basically adding molasses to the tomato sauce two. I gotta look into that, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna do what it says about uh, the, the quick soak instead of the overnight soak. So if I get around to the beans today, we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed lemon balm jelly tutorial. <laughs> if you're new to canning, please watch many, 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 many other people and learn from experienced canners. Like I said, I've only been doing this two months. So, but we love the lemon balm jelly. So until next time, guys.